Okay, my friends, this is going to be kind of shocking. The FDA approves a drug to slow the progression of Alzheimer's. We're going to watch this in a second, but let me show you what does appear to be available right now for Alzheimer's. Okay, before we get started, I just want you to see something. FMT is fecal matter transplant. It puts new enzymes because you get new bacteria. The bacteria comes from the fecal matter that you're going to put in your own body from somebody else's good bacteria, some donor. Now, they have now where they have like five different mixes together at the same time. You can take them right as pills and they re-infuse the bacteria into your into your um, small intestine basically is where you really want to establish it because that's where most of the chemistry is done and that's where apparently how they've got a way of doing this now listen to this now we're talking about Alzheimer's now fecal matter transplant effect was measured by the mini mental state examination which is their examination it's showing improvement in Alzheimer's symptoms of mood memory and cognition that's three things mood memory and cognition so that's what having Alzheimer's is all about cognitive function improved after fecal matter prize and it's, it, all of them say the same thing all of them say the same rapid improvement in Alzheimer's disease fecal and transient drive behavioral cognitive changes oral microbiota transfeasibility study for Alzheimer's now these are all and so far there's no there's been I, I don't think there's been any bad side effects now the only thing you get uh, well I can't say the only thing let me, let me just back out of this a little bit what a fecal matter transplant does is it brings bacteria down into your gut now what does the bacteria do it creates enzymes what's enzymes do it creates chemistry what does the chemistry do it attacks or or breaks down things or kills invaders or goes against this or goes against that or enhances this or enhances that they're very 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 elegant molecules and once they establish themselves down in there they create these enzymes and they you may get a little bit of distress in your gut for a few days you might have some diarrhea you might have some constipation you might it's fighting back and forth until the good guys win and then you're good to go so it should be only a few days but they say basically that's the only thing it's safe for children it's safe for the most severely ill it's safe for chronically ill it's safe for you know the most compromised of all that's what they that's what the um, research indicates and it is it, you just saw what it says about fecal matter transplant for Alzheimer's now let me show you what they're touting on the news right now Okay, don't forget now, mood, memory, and cognition, those three things were associated to a fecal matter transplant with people that had Alzheimer's. Now, this is the FDA approves this new drug to slow the progression. Now, here's what they have to say about treating this condition. Now, my mother-in-law had it, and it was, it was, a. Uh, it was pitiful to watch, you know, it was being lost like that, and, 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 you, you just saw what it said about the fecal matter transplant, which is not what they're talking about here. Wait do you hear this. We get that it's not a cure, but there was nothing when we got our diagnosis. Nothing. Now, there's something that we can do. It gives you hope. Mm -hmm. Sure. I, yeah, unbe unbelievably. I mean, we had none. To say that Lakembi comes without risks. Over 12% of those who participated in clinical trial developed brain swelling, and 17% experienced brain bleeds. Another drawback is that Lakembi costs $26,000 a year. Medicare says it will provide coverage for the drug, but only if doctors agree to collect performance data on it. For more on this, let's bring in MSNBC medical contributor Dr. Kavita Patel. She's a former policy director in the Obama White House and is now a professor at Stanford School of Medicine. Dr. Patel, it is always good to see you talk to us about this FDA approval, about this drug, what it could mean for the 6 million Americans who are living with Alzheimer's. 
Yeah, at least I think the first thing to point out about the drug, as you heard from Case East, is that there was really nothing else for Alzheimer's patients. Yeah. And so I think that that's the first thing. However, it comes with caveats, not just the side effects potentially that you mentioned, brain bleed, brain swelling, those are not trivial, but we really also find that this drug works the best in people who are kind of earlier in their disease. Mild cognitive impairment are words that you're going to hear a lot about this drug because that's exactly who was in the trial. People who are not late stage in Alzheimer's, but earlier. What we know, though, is that we can pick up mild cognitive decline in people by checking them in their primary care offices. We can also do brain scans and look for those amyloid plaques. All right, I'm going to stop it right here because the amyloid plaques, they say, are clogging up the arteries and so forth in the in the brain and creating some kind of inflammation or whatever. Now, if that's true, and I believe it must be, because they can see them, the only thing that can break those down is enzymes. And the only way the enzymes are there is from the bacteria. Now, you, we just saw Alzheimer's is positively affected by fecal matter transplant. Another thing is the kids now are getting these kidney stones and the kidney stones are debilitating as it can be and they again I'm sure don't have the correct bacteria in their system in this interstitium to break down these minerals. Okay and the same thing happens in lymphoma. In a lymph node you're supposed to have all of these detoxifying um, bacteria in there. They create chemistry that break down all this toxic stuff and then flush it out through your excretory system. That's, and this cancer as well, same thing with cancer. Everything is an invasion through your tissues. And your tissues have to be flush with this, this bacteria like troops all laying across that line. Okay, there's a lot of research now that shows that the fecal matter transplant, they can measure that it showed improvement in Alzheimer's symptoms, mood, memory, and cognition. This is a fecal matter transplant. This is by National Institute of Health. It's also been found to cognitive function improve after fecal matter transplant. Fecal matter transplant alleviated Alzheimer's. Rapid improvement in Alzheimer's. Fecal answer drives behavioral cognitive changes. Oral fecal transplant study. Transplant, blah, 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 blah. Every one of them has the same story. It helps. Now, that's what the research indicates. I'm not telling you do this or do, don't do that. But what, here's what they are saying right now is the only thing that's available for Alzheimer's. It's not true. Now, before we go there, this is an approved pills now for certain things. Usually they want to use it for Clostridium difficile, but they can use them for off-drug, for cancers or anything they want, off-label, I'm sorry. And they're using off-label uh, insulin stuff. Off-label prescribing is legal. So they're using it for all kinds of things now. So if they think it's going to help you, they can prescribe it. Can a doctor prescribe off-label? Off-label use is legal and does not necessarily mean the drug is being used inappropriately. In fact, many physicians prescribe, many physicians prescribe a drug off-label because they believe it is the best treatment for a specific condition even though it's not yet formally tested for that condition. Well, what else? Is, are they safe? Fecal microbiota transplant is an accepted procedure for the management of reoccurring clostridium difficile. That's a gut infection that is, is devastating, and this fixes it just like that. FMT generally considered safe and well tolerated even in high risk patients. Most short term re risks are mild and known to be associated with the delivery methods. That's how they used to do it, you know, with a colonoscopy. Now you just take the pills. Long term side effects have not been established and no signs of harm have been found to date. All right. Now this is this is fecal migrant matter transplant, and they and they seem to work quite well. Your doctors may not know about this. They really may not. This is pretty new research, so don't you, you, you're going to have to make your doctor aware of this and show them these these statements. All right. They can prescribe it. They shouldn't be able to say no. 
if they would give it to you if you were going to pay them a ton of money for for weight loss, and that's expensive. And you, they can they can do it. It's off legal, but they can use it for cancer. And because I'm going to tell you right now, it should help anything because everything you do in your body is created by bacteria, which creates the enzymes. Which is, is the chemistry. No chemistry, you're going to be sick. All right, and this is what they could find it in Alzheimer's. It helps. Now listen to what I heard this morning. That's why I'm doing this video. Listen to this from the news. Okay, I would suggest you go back over this a couple of times. Don't forget, this is all about Alzheimer's. The symptoms improved mood, memory, and cognition with the FMT. Now, that sounds pretty good to me. And there's a whole batch of articles about this. And the mainstream media is saying there is no other treatment for it other than this $26,500 a year drug, which is extremely invasive extremely invasive so it's up to you to look into these things but you know do your own research don't just watch the news and say oh yeah, yeah i gotta get one of those things you know that's fine maybe you should i don't know that's up to you but this has been shown to be to be somewhat effective at least so that's what the research indicates again i am not a doctor i prescribe nothing all right i love you i hope everything works out for you all right I'll talk later. Thank you.